Hey everyone, we have improved the animation system of the melee combat system. So we have added new parameters that will allow you to customize the animations. And we have also added animation events that will allow you to extend the functionalities of the system. So you can do things like changing camera angles or switching to slow motion during an attack by using animation events. So we look at how to do that in this video. So before the animation clip was just a single field like this but now we have a button over here which will open up the settings of this animation okay so let's look at these settings one by one so first you have animation speed so this will allow you to speed up or slow down your animations so let's take a look at it using an example so here we have an attack called attack ld let's see how it looks Okay, so this is the attack. So if I want to speed up this attack, I can just increase this value. So if I set it to something like two, then the attack animation will be twice as fast. So let's try that. Okay, so you can see that the attack animation was a lot faster. So you can also use this to create slow motion attacks. So if I change the speed to something like 0.5, then the attack will be played with half the speed. So a lot of games play special attacks in slow motion. So you can use this custom animation speed field for that. So I don't want to slow down this main attack. But let's say I want to slow down a finisher or a counter or a special attack like that. So I'll just select a finisher and I'll slow down this attack. Okay. And we have a toggle over here. If this is enabled, the whole game will slow down, not just the attack. So while playing something like a slow motion attack, we also want the whole world to be in slow motion. Right? We are not just changing the speed of the animation. We are trying to emphasize an attack by using slow motion. So in that case, we can enable this toggle. Alright? But if you want to just slow down the animation a bit without making the entire game play in slow motion, you could also do that. So let's try testing this. The player should play the finisher in slow motion and the finisher will be played once the health of the enemy is low. Okay, so let me try attacking the enemy and once the health of the enemy is low, then we should play the finisher and you can see that the finisher is being played in slow motion. All right, so yeah, you can use this field to play attacks in slow motion, or you can simply use it to speed up or slow down attacks without changing the entire game speed. Okay, and by the way, here you could also use a curve instead of a constant for the speed. So by using this, you'll have more control over when the attack should slow down or speed up. All right, let me just change it back to constant for now. So next we have another setting called use gravity multiplier. So previously there were no ways to add gravity to the attacks but now using the setting you can add gravity to attacks and perform airborne attacks and all that and the player will be pulled down by the gravity. All right and then if you want to control the transition times of the animation you could also change these values. Okay, so here the X is the transition in time and Y is transition out time. So next let's look at animation events. So this is one of the major improvement to the animation system. Using this, you can extend the functionality of the combat system and execute any custom logic while animation is being played. Okay, so for example, let's say while playing a special attack like a finisher, you want to change the camera angle to make it look more cinematic. Alright, this is like a common feature in games like Assassin's Creed and all that. So let's try implementing that by using the events. So I'll add an event here. And here to target, you can put any custom script. And it will allow you to use functionalities from that script. Alright, so let me show you an example. So, we have an example script 
that comes with few example events it's called animation event examples so i'll go ahead and assign that and here you can see that it's listing all the functions of this script okay so if you try to open the script up in a code editor like visual studios you can see that all these are functions okay and those functions are being listed over here so if you have a few sample functions like change camera plane slow motion play effect and all that and by the way these functions can also have parameters so you might be thinking why do we need plane slow motion here because it can already be controlled by the animation speed right but the thing is here we can also have custom parameters and we can use it to check for custom condition like only for last enemy so if this is checked then the attack will only be played in slow motion if it is being performed on the last enemy that's a very common feature in games like batman okay so you can add any number of functions you want with custom functionalities and assign it from here all right only one thing to note is that when you define functions the first parameter of the function should be a game object okay so for all these functions the first parameter is game object only then we'll be able to use that function from our animation events okay so let's try an event like change camera and let's change the camera angle during the finisher attack to try and make the finisher look more cinematic so in the parameter of the change camera method we have camera settings so this allows to change things like distance or framing offset rotation and all that so to find the camera settings what we can do is we can try changing it directly from the camera controller so the settings is the same thing that we have over here okay so we can run the game and try changing the settings directly from there so let me just run the game and let me find a suitable camera angle for my attack so i can do that by adjusting things like rotation offset of the camera okay so let me place the camera somewhere over here and i'll also bring it a bit down to try and make it more cinematic and let me also move it like this so that it also covers the enemy properly so yeah this would be a cinematic angle for our finish attack so we can just copy the settings by right clicking on this and selecting copy and then we can paste it to the camera settings of our finish attack okay and now since you're changing the camera you also have to make sure to reset it once the attack is over otherwise the player will have to continue playing the game in that camera angle right so let me just assign our animation examples script again and this time i'll call the reset camera method okay and yeah let's try testing this so now during the finisher attack the camera angle should change so let me try to play the finisher attack and yeah you can see that during the finisher attack the camera changed to the cinematic angle that we set okay so similarly you can execute any custom functions from the animation events and by the way you can also control the time at which the event is fired so if i only want to fire it from the middle of the animation then i could set the time to 0 0.5 all right so yeah these are the new features that we added to the combat system so i hope you find this improvement helpful so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video